how y'all doing? I hope everyone has been doing well, and I'd like to announce that I'll be back to posting videos on a weekly basis. As always, feel free to comment on any video ideas you have for us. We're planning to make a video on the top high school basketball recruits from each state for the class of 2021, and hopefully release that video by the end of the month. So make sure you're subscribed and have your post notifications on. Today, we're going to dive into the rise of Packers tight end Robert Tanyan, who recently recorded a career-high three-touchdown performance against the Falcons on Monday Night Football. Let me give you a little piece of advice if I can. If you don't already have him on your fantasy team, pick him up, because this guy is just going to keep going off. Before we get into this video, take a look at a recent merch release that we personally designed and posted onto teespring.com. We've attached the link in the description below. Please feel free to leave some comments about it, and if you're interested, make sure you purchase. Now, let's get into it. Robert Tanyan Jr., also known to Packers fans as Bob, was born on April 30th, 1994 in McHenry, Illinois to parents Tammy and Robert. In high school, Tanyan attended McHenry East High School, where he excelled in basketball and football. This dude balled out for the Warriors as he was an all-conference quarterback who set the school record with 5,000 career passing yards and 40 touchdowns. Tanyan garnered moderate interest from Illinois, Bowling Green, and Air Force, but only received an offer from Indiana State, which he accepted. Tanyan redshirted during his freshman year in 2012 before starting three games the following year for the Sycamores. During his sophomore season, his coaches decided to switch him to receiver. He didn't want to, but due to his struggles at quarterback, he made the best decision of his life. Tanya finished his career with 20 touchdowns and 2,047 receiving yards, the third most receiving yards in Indiana State history. Despite his stats, he was not invited to the combine, but he actually recorded an impressive 4.58 second 40 yard dash during his school's pro day. Tanya decided that he could flourish in the NFL as a tight end and he started a 5,000 to 6,000 calorie per day diet to put on some weight and it got him up to nearly 240 pounds. I typically eat around 1,000 to 2,000 calories a day, so the thought of even eating 5,000 calories a day is just astronomical to me. Despite projecting as a late round draft pick, he went on drafted. He spent time with the Lions before he was cut. Give a lot of credit to this man for trying to do whatever it takes to make it to the NFL and to do well. He's been listening to his coach's advice throughout his life, and instead of being an average quarterback, he became a star receiver, and he's progressing towards becoming a star tight end. Rodgers has praised the young tight end for his work ethic, and has been one of his biggest supporters since he made the team in 2018. Tanya played scarcely, and mainly on special teams, during his rookie and sophomore season before sustaining a core muscle injury that resulted in him missing five games. From what I can tell, it was tough for Tanya to try and continue to play despite the injury. He was trying his best to stay on the team and make an impact, so it isn't helpful to sustain such a severe injury that resulted in him getting off-season surgery. He even stated in a Madison.com article that he had never been injured. Coming from the perspective of someone who has never been injured, it must have hurt even more to know that he was on the verge of breaking out, and an injury at that point was probably the worst thing that could have happened. That same offseason, Jimmy Graham signed with the Bears, leaving an open competition for the starting tight end spot. Tanyan recovered well and began to stand out at training camp. This allowed him to develop a connection with Rodgers, which was on full display during the Monday night football game against the Falcons. Tanyan also progressed in other parts of his game, including his run blocking abilities, in order to prove his versatility and ability to do just about anything. I also believe that the fact that he played receiver in college allows him to act more like a receiver with tight end abilities and sets him apart from other tight ends in the league. While in the NFL, Tanyan developed a close relationship with 49ers tight end George Kittle. Both of the tight ends have the same agent. Jack Becta, and spent the last three off-seasons working out together. Kittle has high praise for Tanya, as stated in an ESPN article. Kittle said, he's an absolutely insane athlete, one of the most natural people I've ever seen catch a football. The duo will actually face off against each other when the Packers play the 49ers in Levi's Stadium on November 5th. 
Entering the 2020 season, Tanyan had only recorded 14 receptions for 177 yards and two touchdowns over the course of two seasons. In the opener against the Vikings, Tanyan received 48 snaps, the most among all tight ends, but did not record a catch. Tanyan split time with Lewis during week two as he recorded two receptions for 25 yards and a touchdown. During the Sunday night primetime game against the Saints, he saw himself racking five receptions for 50 yards and a touchdown. Then, on October 5th, with Mercedes Lewis sidelined with a knee injury, Tanyan took to center stage. The 26-year-old exploded onto the scene, hauling in two touchdowns late in the second quarter. With the Packers up 20-9, Rodgers and Tanyan put the nail in the coffin as they connected for a 21-yard touchdown strike. Tanyan finished his breakout game with six receptions for 98 yards and three touchdowns. His five touchdowns had put him as the league leader heading into week five. The Packers are rolling in a big way right now with a revitalized Rodgers and a budding star in Robert Tanyan. Heading into week five, they led the league in terms of points scored with 152. Tanyan is fully trending up right now. With rookie tight end Josiah DeGuara out for the season and Mercedes Lewis with injuries of his own, Tanyan expects to see more targets. I hope Tanyan will stay healthy for this season, but regardless, I expect big things for him. Statistically, he currently has a 93% catch rate and was fantasy's tight end number one after four weeks. He's a very good and athletic player who needs to be on your fantasy team. If there's anything you should know about him is that he works for everything he does and he does not get lazy. Expect production from him in every game. Even if he doesn't record a lot of catches, I'm sure he will make an impact in a big way in terms of blocking. This concludes our introduction into one of the league's budding stars. How well do you think Tanyan is going to do? Will he become a pro bowler this year? Who should we make a video on next? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.